As you can see, I have ordered some stuff from Toman. And every time I look away, there they are. Curious little critters. So basically, my 4x12 speaker cabinet is one of the more affordable Marshall ones, 4x12. And from the start, I've been meaning to change out the speakers when I got the money for it to do an upgrade. Get something that sounds better than the stock speakers in the cabinet. So, I have ordered four new speakers for the cabinet and my choice went to Eminence speaker units and the model I chose was the wizard and the Texas Heat. I want to place the speakers in an X pattern in the cabinet. And the sound characteristics from these two speakers, I think, will, in combination, will give a good full sounding cabinet. You can see here the weight difference. The first one was the old speaker. The second one was the Texas Heat and the Wizard. Here you can see my cabinet. It's a bit smaller than the normal Marshall 4x12 uh, and I think it's made for um, Marshall's solid state series of amps and as I mentioned earlier it's built to a, a price point so that it's pretty affordable and therefore the speakers in it, of course, are of the lower end of the quality scale. It is Celestian speakers and they are uh, custom made for Marshall. One of the obvious differences between uh, 
the Celestian speakers and the new eminent speakers is, of course, the, the size of the magnets. In the back of the speed units. And as shown earlier, also the weight is significantly different. Whereas the wizard almost weighs three times as much as the Celestian speakers and the Texas Heat is twice the weight. New speakers, the part of the of the speaker that holds the cone in place uh, is partially covering the holes for the screws. So I just had to. Make room for the screws. Before installing the speakers, I wanted to do some pre checks. Not that I'm expecting anything to be wrong with the speakers, but just to. And give my OCD some rest. So I wanted to check the resistance, the ohms. It's uh, supposed to be 8 ohms because I'm not expecting exactly 8 ohms from the measurements, but something close. And The speakers were around seven and eight ohms when I measured them. I also checked the polarity just so if there was a, a mistake that they by accident connected the the wrong part of the coil to the terminals I wouldn't I would notice and in that way could avoid uh, uh, face issues but they checked out all right the polarity was correct Also did a little tap test just having the cones in the speakers just to hear the difference between the old speaker and the new ones. It's not very scientific but it anyway gives some idea of uh, the sound characteristics of the speakers. I'll finish off the video with some sound samples of me playing the cabinet with the old speakers and again playing the cabinet with the new speakers. I should say the speakers are not fully broken in yet. Um, and it's not a super scientific one-to-one -one comparison of the speakers. It's more just me playing some of my favorite bits and just so 
I can hear the, the difference between the old speakers and the new speakers. Also, you might notice that I'm using a different guitar, but I swapped out the pickup, so it's the same pickup as in the first uh, sound sample. When I had to choose which speakers I wanted to put in the cabinet, I was first thinking of uh, using uh, Windows 30s because that seems to be the go-to speaker if you're into uh, hard rock and metal. But then I came across the eminent speakers. They seem to be just a little bit less money than the comparable Celestian speakers. And then I checked out some videos on YouTube comparing eminent speakers with Celestian speakers and uh, also individual sound samples of uh, the eminence range of speakers and came across the wizard speaker which I found had uh, a good tight low end somewhat scooped in the middle and a really clear uh, high end but without it getting harsh and uh, uncomfortable to listen to. And I came across the Texas Heat Speaker, which also has a, a good tight low end, much more dominant uh, mid range, and some good a balanced high end and my thought was that these two speakers would in combination would uh, be a good fit and give a a good overall sound and listening to my own sound recordings I find that my assumption was correct. Anyway, I like the sound of the new speakers much more than the old ones. But it is also a significant upgrade in quality and of course price. of the cabinet but you can make up your own mind by listening to the sound samples